Hello, 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 and welcome back. Oh, we're backing up. Oh, God. No, stop. Stop everything. Too much to back up. Welcome back to another beautiful Enigmatica 5. And Mr. Builder over here is doing good work on the barracks. I definitely helped uh, mine some of this out. This used to be a big hill, and, and not so much anymore. Sweet! We've got ourselves a barracks. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay, cool. So, building an army. <laughs> How do I build an army? That's a great question. Uh, so, I uh, can upgrade this thing, but I think I need barracks towers. Is that what we require now? Barracks tower placeholder. No, we want the actual tower. Okay, how do I build the tower? Hmm. Oh, what's this? Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. there's a barracks tower that's included with it. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, uh, build the building. Um, is our other builder working right now? Hmm, I think so. Yeah, working on the library over there. Okay. Um, I did an, a Builder 4 upgrade in between, which is a little bit uh, convoluted. But anyways, we need to build this tower um, first and foremost here to get that stuff rolling um, as well. Now, let's go take a look at the Builder 4 quickly here. And yeah, there's a lot of other things that I definitely want to get around to here as well today. So we got lots upon lots to look at today. All right. Builder's Hut, level four. Block of diamond. I just so happen to have one on me. There you go, sir. We need a birch log. Block of quartz. Dark oak log. Okay, so we need a couple of logs. No big deal. We should have those somewhere. Ooh, higher learning. Very nice. I believe that's the school that we just finished research on. Very, very good. We'll have to jump over there to see... Where is my stuff? I really need to figure all this out. These chests are getting... And they're like all terracotta. I Every last one of them is terracotta. Terracotta this, terracotta that. Um, I know I have birch somewhere. Where's my birch? I got nether quartz. We need that. So let's do that one. Let's get a block of that. Uh, dark oak. We can grab that while we're at it. Birch. I know it's in here somewhere. Okay. We're going to do this. Do you... Oh, wait, they don't have the double-click thing anymore, do they? Nope, no double-click thing. Okay, we have to find our birch the old-fashioned way. Where is it? Did I put it in storage? I might have put it in there, in the warehouse. I might have, I might have. Anyways, we'll just keep on slugging here um, with what we got. Andesite, I think I put some of that in there. Brown wool, glass panes, green wool, jungle log. Okay. A couple of these things we definitely do not have in the warehouse, but I should probably be letting them do their thing. Um, and then, you know, filling in where required more than anything else. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to wait around like that. So let's get ourselves a little bit of this. We'll throw them in there. And our delivery people will handle the majority of this. But there's a few things that I'm just kind of looking at and going... No, we're going to have a problem with that one, right? So, um, I know I have cacti somewhere here. I don't know where, but I do. Somewhere, right there. Okay, good. Um, let's smelt that down to get green dye. So, that'll be good. That'll give us that for wool. Our wool is right here. Excellent. And we needed brown wool as well. Aha! Luckily enough, I did grab cocoa beans. Beautiful. Okay, brown wool. Excellent. Let's get ourselves the green wool. That gives us the cactus paste, which we turn into cactus dye to get that guy as well. Good stuff. All right. So we've nailed off a couple of some of the odds and ends that we're going to be seeing with this build. Um, the light gray clay, mossy stone bricks, nether bricks, nether rack, obsidian. Okay. There's a lot of little one-offs for this one that we need to have. I don't have nether brick, do I? I don't think I do. Don't think that I do. That might be 
a bit of a sticking point because I don't even have much for nether rack. So we'll have to jump into the nether um, even just to get some more nether rack for some of that stuff. Anyways, yeah, I'll keep working on this. I want this one to get finished though right away. I really do. Um, this light gray clay shingles. Oak log, polished, polished, purple, spruce, yellow wool. Holy cranky, it's like all the colors of the rainbow. Anyways, this is a lot of stuff. I don't want to bore you guys with all of this, you know, like semantics and whatnot. So I'll do a little bit of this work. I want to get the barracks up and running today. And I also want to get a lot of other things up and running today. So lots to be done. All right, all right, all right. Mr. Krillick's been doing some work. As you can see, wither skeleton skulls. Sweet. I also have haste too, which is pretty darn nice. Which basically means I don't need that other haste. Unbelievably so. Yeah, I did a lot of good work of farming in the nether, which is awesome. You know, just such an easy way to get so many resources. You know, basically replenished all of my bones, for example. Pretty darn nice. Pretty darn nice. Anyways, um, I am still out of storage. Ignore all of that. No big deal. I've supplied everything that I need to to my um, builder. Or at least it should be all supplied to the builder. So we shouldn't have any concerns when it comes to them getting completed. These skull fragments. Ooh, baby. I got enough for another whole wither. So... Should we kill the wither? Probably should, right? I don't care about those. It's fine. We should probably get rid of them, right? I'm thinking. Um, at some point here. Uh, don't really have the gear. I probably need some enchanting. Not that it's that complicated, but I should probably get some sort of enchanting before I dive too far in. Oh, look at the new shingles going up. I love it. I love it. The light gray is interesting. I'm not like blown away by it but that's going to be our roof for the most part so we better get used to it as <laughs> simple as that um matthew over here you probably need a pickaxe don't you i'm guessing so yeah let's go get him a pickaxe here i really need the crafter so that i can teach them how to craft like all the tools uh that i'm going to require if you know what i mean so yeah that might be on the quick succession plan here and i also forgot to assign something to our university oh that's a shame i need one iron ingot for this next one so we'll do that quickly nice the builders level seven is coming along Trey, nice Trey, very nice okay so we just did the school builder four completed hype 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 that is awesome um too many in progress. Yeah, we are got the one anyways. That's fine. Um, there's a lot of other things that we definitely need to research. This whole research thing really changed my thought process for mine colonies in general. Um, I wasn't too sure, you know, what the progression was going to be like. But dang, this whole research thing has just blown my mind and really upped the game. So, yeah, keep that in mind as well. Look at all the abilities we've got now. Oh, man, that's pretty darn nice. All right, so Dude Builder is Builder Level 4. This really opens us up to so many different things. Um, it's crazy. Oh, that's where you put them? That's unique. Kind of cluttersome, isn't it? But anyways, um, it really opens things up, to say the least. And why does it open things up? I'll explain it to you shortly. I believe our delivery people have taken everything. I'm just going to let them roll and we'll see if he needs anything. But the Builder Level 4 allows us to upgrade everything else to Level 4, which is pretty sweet in my opinion. Now, this does get pretty expensive, but we can actually upgrade things accordingly. This one's not bad. This one's actually pretty cheap. Two blocks of iron? Yeah, we'll upgrade the miner. No big deal. Problem solved, right? And the lumberjack here, we should probably upgrade that guy as well. Build options? 
Yeah, it's pretty straight. So, ooh, green. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Might have to uh, set up a little cactus farm for that guy. But we'll set up that. That'll be level four. That's great. You know what else we should do level four? We should do our delivery people to level four. Basically all of the things we need to do to level four. So we are about to basically spam our way through all of these buildings. And our builders going to be very, very, very busy, to say the least. Um, there's no better way to say it than that. This one might be expensive. Ooh, black. That's a lot of ink. Oy, that's a lot of ink. That is 142, 151 ink. Yikes. Well, upgrade. You've, you've built a warehouse. Build some delivery huts to attract delivery men. Up to five can work per warehouse. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, we need more delivery people. And more guards. And more everything. Um, oh, one of the other big ones that we definitely need to upgrade is our citizen huts, right? We need to upgrade our people. You know, we need to go to the next tier here. And this one looks like it's going to be complicated. Light blue for the roof. You know what? I'm kind of happy that there's different roof styles for each building. I think that's kind of cool. It's going to really brighten up and add a lot of decorative detail to our little colony which is awesome very very awesome and last but not least i want to get this one upgrading as well we should be able to do this one with matthew though if i'm not mistaken we can do that one we need way more delivery people i just realized you know if we can have five going on with one warehouse we really need to up our game when it comes to that so yeah I'm going to I'm gonna pretty much go to town here um, on all of these things. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, we got red tape everywhere. <laughs> Everything's under construction. Literally everything. Um, we might as well do the fishermen while we're at it, right? <laughs> Just all the things. All the things upgraded. I assume you're out of uh, fishing rods anyways. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> do them all. Do them all. <laughs> We should probably do a restaurant too, right? But yeah, basically this is the next step, right? You you upgrade your builder and then you spam and build request everything else that you possibly can. So yeah, mister, you are about to be very, very busy to say the least. Um, what are you? Uh-oh. Carrot and potato? Carrot and potato. We really, I've been kind of slacking. I'm not going to lie on the whole hospital front. Um, we should probably get that situated. <laughs> Not going to lie. There we go. Cure up one delivery guy. That'll help quite a bit. Um, yeah, i am kind of been slacking on the whole hospital front, and we're not going to deal with it this episode either, but what I might do is next episode we'll deal with the hospital because we absolutely need to deal with it. Simple as that. Um, I think I actually need to sleep in my bed. Because I was off kind of sort of roguelikeing a little bit there and, and killing squids for the light gray roof tiles that we have here. And uh, yeah, I have a feeling that uh, there's more. Sometimes they seem to get stuck on these fence gates, which I do not understand. Um, but that's okay. Once we get to a level 5, we might just remove those altogether and then they won't be an issue, right? Or at least that's my thought process. Okay, so the barracks is done, uh, apparently. I have no clue what that means. But this gives us a guard tower. Now, I believe, so this guy looks pretty good. Seven adaptability, three stamina. Higher. Done. Okay. Now, what does that mean? A knight. Okay. Is it just more of the same guard stuff? Is it just another guard tower in general? Um, I guess I'm a little confused as to what this barracks has warranted me more so. Um, current barbarian position, last barbarian spawns. Yeah. Yeah, a little confused as to what this all gets me. Now, the cool thing here is as you upgrade, you do get more in this one little spot. 
And we'll just hit the upgrade button because that's pretty much what I'm doing these days anyways. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Right? And this one, oh, that's pretty cheap. It's just cheaper, hey? Okay. Oh, but you have to upgrade the barracks first. Interesting. Okay. Cool. I mean, I'm learning. We're learning together. Um, so, yeah, we got to upgrade the barracks grounds. We got to upgrade the university. We got to upgrade all the things with all the things. Now, I believe my builder is hard at work, if I'm not mistaken. Are you making a liar out of me? Is that what you're doing right now? Making a liar out of me? Yeah, a little bit. Um, block of coal, two blocks of iron, iron bars, iron pickaxe. Some of these things our group will not be able to do. So I'm going to, again, supplement accordingly. I feel like I've missed a big step along the way here. Um, and that we could do things more efficiently. But I don't know... Eh, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like we've missed a crafter or something along those lines that would have really probably helped us through a lot of this. But I also feel a little bit like I'm rushing mine colonies. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, I'm just kind of like powering through and not really waiting around for the delivery men to do their job. You know, it's just one of those things. Iron pick, item frame, oak trap door, spruce doors, spruce slabs, spruce planks. Okay, that's a lot of spruce. Wow. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm kind of just rushing on through. And I hope that it doesn't feel that way, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, at the same time, there's a lot to be done. You know, the sucky thing about this, I can't access that now because of the window. I literally have to walk around. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks big time. All right, we'll put all that in there. I need, know I needed oak trap doors. I know I needed item frames. There's a few other things as well uh, that I need to kind of help these guys along. But yeah, overall though, I'm loving, loving this. I just can't stop playing. You know, that, that's my problem right now is I literally can't stop playing this world. Um, I'm having so much fun. So that's, I guess, a good problem to have. Right? Or so they tell me. Dirt. We need dirt. Okay. Dirt it is. I can get you dirt. Um, so anyways, I got lots to... I'm going to keep on plugging away is basically what I'm trying to get to here. Uh, instead of, you know, just being unable to say it. Uh, sp sp spit it out, Junior. But yeah, no. we. Uh, I'm going to keep on going here. Oak trap door. Iron pick. Spruce planks. Oak trap door. Iron pick. Spruce planks. Okay. Boom. Three. There's our planks. Um, iron picks. Yeah. Anyways, you guys don't want to see me crafting this. You really don't. I know you don't. So we'll just come back with another update shortly. Okay. So we've upgraded the accuracy so they sleep less, which is great. That's very, very nice. Um, armor durability, 10%. That'd be nice to have. I did just set up a new technology. We're unlocking the sawmill, okay? I figured, why the heck not, right? We've got the hospital. We've got the library. We do not have first aid, but we do have the school available as well. So quite a few options are available to us. And here's the beautiful little library right here. Look at it. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's simple, but it's pretty. Never stare at an Enderman. It is always Wissy's fault. Okay, cool. Good to know. All right, Aliana, you are our librarian. Good work. Fantastic show. <laughs> but yeah, good little spot for the library over here. I'm kind of thinking school right out the backside here. I think that that would work out pretty good. And then we'll probably need to do like guard towers over in this general vicinity just because we're we're lacking a little bit in that area. Um, other quick note, our miner is now level four. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous building. It is doing work. I'm not sure about the spruce, to be honest. But you know what? We'll see what the level five eventually looks like when we get there. And then we'll uh, we'll we'll decide from there. 
<laughs> I'm not going to get too carried away, though. Um, let's see. Everything's going pretty good. I've been slowly but surely transferring over some items um, from my storage here, like this terracotta and all this stuff. When did I get this hammer? Why do I have another hammer? But yeah, basically transferring over items from here over to the warehouse. And I kind of just decided, I'm like, you know what? Why am I storing all of this stuff, right? This stuff that I do not want or even care about in my storage area, right? Let's put it all in the warehouse and go from there. If we need to expand the warehouse, so be it. But I just kind of decided to start doing this slowly but surely because I have so many chests with so much stuff that we just need to start to declutter a little bit. And if we can just use this as our storage, so be it. So be it indeed. I've also placed down two more delivery men. One is over here. That's going to take a while to remove this mountain. And one over here, which is also going to take a while to remove this mountain as well. But I figured, you know what? Let's have at least a couple more delivery men right around the warehouse here so that we can benefit from it. Also, since I've upgraded this to tier four, they seem to be getting stuck, which is not good. I do not want stuck delivery men. That sucks because, yeah, it sucks big time. I, I need them out delivering. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, so yeah, not a huge fan of them getting stuck, but it is what it is, I guess. I've just been having to like recall them quite a bit. They keep getting stuck on this stair, I think. So I'm going to just remove it actually. And you know what? I'll just put it in there. Okay. Let's see. What are you doing? Why do you keep getting turned around? You know what? I'm going to remove this too. See if that helps. They keep getting like muxed around. They keep getting turned around right there. I don't know what his uh, what he's trying to do. See? It's kind of weird. A little bit of a weird bug. Something's going on there. And the only way that I've been able to fix it is basically what I do is I go to the town hall just because it's closer. And I go to my citizen. And I go to Kai. And I recall him to the town hall. And then he kind of sort of fixes himself for a little bit. But just a little bit. Not not all that much. Um, what do you need? You need coarse dirt. Coarse dirt. Ugh. That I have not done whatsoever. So that's just gravel and dirt, right? Yeah. Dirt. Do I even have gravel? I don't even know if I do. Oh, I do. Hey. <laughs> Look at me go. All right, let's make them some coarse dirt. There we go. 128 of it. Let's go. You got all the coarse dirt, Cyril. All the coarse dirt. Okay. Now, I'm actually curious what else we need. Flower pots I have. Iron axes I'll need to make. Spruce stairs, spruce fences. Okay, we can do those up. And then the green clay roof. Yeah, the green dye. How can we get some green dye somewhat quickly? So cactus paste is one of the ways. Um, enriching it. We don't really have that capability. There's obviously the Batania way. What is this? Dye is green. Paint in the glass. Blue and yellow. Huh. Well, that's nice. Why is that green? I guess it is, right? Isn't it? Maybe? I don't know. I don't really know. Who am I kidding? I am literally nothing. I am nothing around here, okay? I'm a scrub of what I used to be. I don't remember nothing. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll do up some cactus here, um, but we're going to need a lot more than that. A lot more. 70 or so. And I believe it required a couple iron axes. We should have those in storage. So there shouldn't be any concerns with those blocks and some of that stuff. But yeah, as you can see, a little bit more complicated. Flower pot, spruce fence, spruce stairs. Okay. It seems like we're going a little spruce heavy here, doesn't it? Um, 
I don't know if I'm a big fan of that or not. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I'm a big fan of that or not. I don't know. The spruce, I really liked the acacia. And I know a lot of you guys did too, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of torn a little bit on that one, I think. But that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll progress accordingly. And we'll see how this all works out in the end. This is just a test, you know, all things considered, right? So nothing too crazy. Okay, green clay spruce shingle. All right, that guy is going to be tough. Um, so I'm going to go farm cactus and such. And yeah, we'll just kind of see what's going on. So what are we building? Matthew Cobley has started building University 2. Oh, Oh, we're already doing that? Oh, wow. Okay. I assume that that's going to require a lot of things that I do not have over here. That is going to be a chore. Yeah. Block of iron, campfire, cauldron. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, that is quite the process. If I do say so myself, that is a big, long laundry list. I'm going to have to work my butt off. All right, so one of my other plans here is I need to get villagers up and running um, as well. Just like vanilla, plain old villagers. So for that, we need to move them around, right? Simple as that. We need to move them. And uh, yeah, just one of those things. Direction, right, action, enabled. Right? Is that... Do these not transfer between one another? Latex. Push. There we go. There we go. We got latex in there. Beautiful. Water, though. Um, okay. Well, we can do that manually for right now. That's fine. That's a-okay. Okay. I think. But basically what I need is this tiny dry rubber that you're seeing right here in front of you pretty straightforward um, and I need a decent amount of it as well and the reason I need this is this is going to get me dry rubber and dry rubber is going to get me plastic plastic is used in all of the industrial foregoing recipes but the main one that I'm focused on is the mob imprisonment tool I'm hoping that I can transfer a villager with that thing and I hope it hasn't changed it's very possible that it may have, um, but my hope is that it hasn't. So these are all just the little things that I'm working on. Um, a couple of somber notes. Um, you need to be cured. You, I just got you. <laughs> on a somber note, we had another raid while I was out looking for blackberry bushes. Okay, now why was I out looking for blackberry bushes? Well, I need black ink like you wouldn't believe. So, I was out looking for blackberry bushes because they are a very easy way to get black, black ink. And a raid came upon us and killed both of my builders and my farmer and one of my knights. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> both of my builders. How did they target both of my builders? So anyways, we lost our good builder from the get-go. And yeah, that's fun. So I recruited two more and we got some kids growing up and stuff like that. And transferred around a few citizens here and there. But uh, yeah. Yeah, these raids, man. They continually are beating me up something fierce. What do you need paper for? I don't understand what you do. <laughs> what does the library even do? What do you do? Why do you need paper? I don't get it. But yeah, so a little bit of a catastrophe to say the least. But I can think of worse things. Oh, you need a dandelion kelp and a poppy to be cured. Oh, great. Okay, fantastic. Just all the things going wrong. Um, the other thing that I noticed as well while I was doing things is I made the school block 
And guess what also does not have an acacia form? The school. So I think next episode, we absolutely need to... Why do you have an emerald? Oh, wait, you needed that. Um, I think next episode, we absolutely need to design both a hospital and a school, which should be good. That should make up an entire episode, hands down, which is, which is really quite nice. So, yeah, just one of those little details. But, uh, yeah, I'm surprised. And I don't know if it's just because of the new, like, mod versions or what. But, yeah, anyways, 5872. Okay, it's working. It's doing its thing. We did get a Neptunium Axe, um, which is pretty darn cool, in a Neptune's Bounty over here. I did get Cactus in a Botany Pot. Um, and right now I'm working my butt off to get all the things that I need for the warehouse level four, which is a lot of stuff, might I add. We need like 900 stone bricks. <laughs> and you know what I was just thinking? I'm making all these stone bricks like a fool. Like a fool. Why am I making all this? I, what am I doing? Oh, my Lord. Anyways, that's going to be it, though. I didn't want this episode to be super long. I've been playing all night, hands down. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, still got so much more that I want to get done. So, for now, this is where it's going to have to end. Okay? We'll leave it here. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay? Um, other than that, though, that's really about it for now. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe, like, tell your friends, right? We got some good stuff going on, I think. Um, I think a lot of you are enjoying this playthrough. I know I am as well. So that's good. And, uh, yeah, just have a good time. That's all that matters, right? Is having a good time. Okay, I got more of this to do. Obviously, we made some pretty good progress, though, didn't we? Look at that. And, uh, yeah, we still got a lot to figure out when it comes to this whole mine colonies stuff together.